You're listening to Unite Radio. I'm Jenna, and I'm so glad you joined us. Do you remember the two people Uncle Mike told Piper and Logan about in our Good News Hero story? Dayuma and Nate Saint. Dayuma and her people had never heard about Jesus or seen a Bible. And what about Nate's dream to become a pilot? Let's listen in to find out what happens next. Whoa, heal Philip. Remember, lead Uncle Mike. Uh, good thing I've got a future vet to help me, or else Philip would be dragging me all over the place. Did you and Mom ever have dogs growing up? No. Your grandma used to tell us that if we really wanted a dog, we would get one when we grew up. You should get a dog, Uncle Mike. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of responsibility yet. Dogs need more care and attention than my work schedule will allow. When I grow up, I'm going to have eight dogs. Why eight? One of each of my favorite kinds of dog. It's my dream. It's your dream to be vacuuming dog fur all day? Speaking of dreams, what about Nate Saint's dream to become a pilot? Or Dayuma? Are Nate and Dayuma going to meet? All good questions. First, let's visit Dayuma. Do you remember why Dayuma was afraid? Yeah. Her tribe and some of the people around them were dangerous, and she was afraid someone would kill her or her family. Right. And sadly, Dayuma's worst fears came true. One day, someone attacked her family and tried to kill them all. Dayuma ran as fast as she could into the jungle to escape. I, I don't see the attackers anymore. I'm safe for now. But what do I do? What do I do? I can't stay here. If the attackers know I'm alive, they might try to kill me again. (laughs) Kawadi, outsiders, maybe they can help me. But my people warned me that the Kawadi are dangerous and will hurt me. But I can't go back home. I promised myself that if my family was ever attacked, I would run away forever. Nothing could be worse than the spears. I have to take my chances with the Kawadi. Help! Please, someone help me! Oh no! That must have been terrifying! Were the outsiders nice to her? They were. The people Dayuma ran to were Quechua people. It was hard for them to understand each other because they spoke different languages, but the Quechuas were kind and let Dayuma stay. Phew! At least she was safe. That's what she thought. As years passed, Dayuma learned their language and got used to living with them, but she still missed her family. During her escape, she couldn't see if any other family members escaped too, but she was too scared to go back and find out. I would be too. Me too. Most people were afraid of the Alcas, but God made many missionaries brave to work in Ecuador, the Alcas' home country. But they faced many problems while trying to share about Jesus. Like snakes? Jungles have a lot of snakes. And jaguars. And rats. Mice. And bugs. Oh, they didn't have to eat them, did they? I don't think so. But besides the wild animals, traveling through the jungle was hard. For example, if a missionary in the jungle got sick and needed to see a doctor, they didn't have time to travel because it would take days. The missionaries needed a way to quickly travel without having to go through the jungle. Oh, I know! They could fly them! That's how he becomes a missionary and a pilot! He certainly could. When he grew up, he got a pilot's license. But he didn't think he could be both a missionary and a pilot. But soon, God showed Nate that he wouldn't have to choose between the two. Excuse me! Hey, excuse me, are you Hank? Uh, Who wants to know? My name's Nate Saint. I'm working with the Christian Airmen's Missionary Fellowship, and I need... Uh, sir? Are you okay? Um, fine. What do you want? Well, I'm repairing the missionary airplane that got into that crash a while ago. Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. What's that got to do with me? I need to go to El Real so I can make the final repairs at the crash site. I don't have my own plane yet, but I heard you're willing to take people there. Hey, forget about it. It's too far, and I don't feel like it. 
Well, I don't think you're in a place where you could take me right now, but please, my friends and I need a pilot. Listen, pal, I already told you... I'm willing to pay. Oh, well, why didn't you lead with that? How about this much? Hmm, <clears throat> not enough. I need double that at least. Double? That's absurd! Well, well, good luck finding another pilot willing to take you out to the middle of nowhere with an awful landing strip. I know you missionaries don't have anyone else. Ah, fine, but only if we leave tomorrow. Huh. Works for me. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Is this what missionaries deal with every time they need to get somewhere quickly? Rely on shady pilots who charge far too much money? It's a good thing this isn't a medical emergency. What would happen if I had to take my sick child to a doctor and I had to pay someone like Hank to fly us? A good pilot could mean the difference between life and death. Lord, you haven't given me any desire to preach, but I still feel you calling me to reach people who have never heard about Jesus. And you've given me the skills to be a pilot. I will be a missionary pilot for you. Oh, it's so cool how God uses people with lots of different talents to make them good news heroes. It is, isn't it? What did Nate do as a missionary pilot? Mostly flying. Nate flew all sorts of things. Nate became a jungle pilot in Ecuador. That's where Dayuma lives! Did they finally meet? Well, not right away. When Nate and his wife Marjorie, or Marge, first arrived in Ecuador, they had a lot to do. Marge was in charge of the radio. The radio was how missionaries contacted others outside the jungle. The missionaries would tell Marge what they needed, whether it was a ride or a delivery, and Nate used his small yellow airplane to help missionaries travel quickly and safely, and he brought them supplies like food, medicine, and even animals. Nate flew animals? He sure did. Sometimes, Nate tied donkeys and goats in the airplane to deliver them. Whoa. That's awesome! Was it dangerous? Sometimes. Nate and Marge heard stories about the violence and danger. The stories helped Nate make wise choices when he was flying, but it didn't scare them into quitting. Nate and Marge loved the people of the jungle and wanted them to know Jesus. Even the Alcas? Especially the Alcas. This love God gave Nate for the Alcas seemed strange to many of the local people. But soon they found out how much Nate cared about them. Nate! Nate! Marge? What's wrong? A mob is gathering! Some men are angry at another tribe in the jungle, and they're planning a surprise attack. Oh no! Whatever they've done, attacking them for revenge won't fix anything. Nate, you have to stop them. They won't find me very convincing. When they get angry and set on revenge, nothing can stop them. But maybe there's enough time to warn the other tribe. Marge, grab the megaphone. Thank you! Now, yeah, there they are. That's where the other tribe lives. Now, if this door... Uh, just... Uh, God! Look out! People are coming to attack you! Look out! People are coming to attack you! Watch out! Yes, it worked. They're running away. Thank you, God. Now to tell the mob. Men, we warned the other tribe. If you attack, they will be prepared and will fight back. Don't attack them. Yes, they're turning back. No one will be attacked today. Thank you, God. Anything else we need to tell my parents? Besides today's adventure, of course. Won't your poor mother have a heart attack when she reads about you opening the plane door in the middle of a flight? Uh, not my mother. She always encouraged our strange adventures when we were kids. When I was four, my brothers and I asked if we could sleep on the roof, and she said, well, why not? She had a fence built around our roof, we brought blankets and pillows, and we had a roof bedroom. We could sleep under the stars whenever we wanted. It was beautiful. Oh my goodness. Another time, I almost froze to death while climbing a mountain in Yosemite National Park because I accidentally started following a bear instead of my guide. What happened today won't surprise my parents. 
Oh, certainly not. What have you told your parents about the Alcas? About as much as I know. I hope that someday the airplane will be an important part of telling them about Jesus. We're watching and praying, and I know they will too. Nate needs to meet Dioma. If they become friends, maybe she can take them to meet the other Alcas, and he can tell them about Jesus! But Dioma needs to know about Jesus too. Did anyone tell her about Jesus? Well, would you look at that? We're back at the shelter. I think those questions would be great to talk about on tomorrow's walk. Will Nate be able to reach the Alcas? Will Dayuma want to help? Join Good News Heroes next time to find out. While you're waiting, check out our video content on Unite TV. The link to sign up for a free account with your parents or guardians' permission is in the description. <laughs>